Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming doing a video for The Walking Dead Road to Survival and this is Supply Depot Exchange March 2nd, 2016. For those of you that are new to this series, this is weekly. So we take a look at My Supply Depot and we decide whether these buys are good buys, whether they're bad buys, or whether they are good buy. So uh, we'll take a quick look uh, from left to right and see what we have available. So let's start out with the safety helm. I do like that the price has been slashed from 150 down to 110. I don't like that it's a safety helm and it's too easy to farm. So I'm going to say no. Let's uh, move forward to the gear pack. Gear pack, two safety helms, two sunglasses, and three bloody jackets for a whoppingly low price of 630. Once again, veto it. Don't, uh, don't waste your time on energy on that one. Now we got Laura, the leader trainer. Um, do we even need to ask how I feel about leader trainers and AR? I do know that the AR is harder to level, but I am still not spending 2,600 supply points. So now we got Hannah the Hunter Trainer. This is a markdown. So it's marked down from 2600 down to 21. I do need Hunter Trainers. I got four Jesus out there that I could level all of them, but still at 2100 scopely. I'm not giving in. I'm not buying at 2100. Lower it to 500, and then we might have a little bit of consideration because then for 5,000, I could basically take it up 10 levels, but not for 2100. Not going to do it. Uh, World Energy. You know, those of you guys that are out there just really raiding hardcore, uh, buy it at your own risk. I guess, you know, 100 supply points is better than spending 100 coins. But, uh, you know, once again, world energy. This may be something I'm on the fence on. Eventually, I may buy it, but uh, I've been accumulating enough of it. Let's move forward. Really, come on, Doug. Uh, I don't know how many Dugs I've gotten out of pack openings. I don't care if this is 650. If this was, if this was six supply depot points, I'm still not buying a three-star. Well, I guess I'd buy it and then resell it, but you know, you're getting a little bit over a hundred to sell these and then you're still buying at 650. This is Doug. I mean, there's nothing special about Doug. I would not even have this three star up there. It's a complete waste in my opinion. Assault pistol. Yes. For 1400. I think it's a good deal. 25% attack, 25% defense. It's a good raid weapon. I could definitely uh, use this on my alert team. I'm probably going to make this purchase. Let me know what you guys think about this. There's only one available. And I did not uh, hit level 30 quick enough to buy the uh, five-star Andrea that was available last week. And I will probably hit level 30 within a couple days. And the debate once again, Rick, safety behind bars, five-star Rick. Is it worth it? I know you guys are saying, no way, don't have two Ricks. But that part of me still says, maybe. Um, I'll think about it. But I'm up to 60,000 supply points. Rick is marked down from 55 to 50. If I bought it, I'd still have 10,000, so I'd be able to work on the next five-star character. Just saying, you know, it's a 5,000 markdown. What a deal. So this has been Supply Depot Exchange, March 2nd, 2016. Let me know what you guys think as far as these items. Leave in the comments, and uh, let me know if you guys think I should go after the Rick, or if I should just wait a little bit longer. I just wish there was more characters available. There's only like six or seven characters. So if all of them were available, then... Uh, you know, I definitely think it would open up the door and, and make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. My name's Killshot. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, real quick, I would um, want to address a couple questions too. Um, I am still playing the Telltale series, so hopefully I'll have a video up for that tomorrow. I'm still playing Road to Survival, pretty hardcore, but I have started playing a little bit of Clash Royale, so uh, check that out as well too. And um, if there's a video you'd like a game review on, leave it in the comments as well. Thanks again. Peace.